Solutions Review presents the Breach of the Month. March 2021 was a particularly devastating month for companies around the world. Malaysia Airlines disclosed they were victims of a nine-year data breach affecting an unknown amount of flyers. Security startup Verkanda saw hackers gain access to 150,000 of its security cameras, enabling espionage on several prominent clients. And British fashion retailer Fatface attempted to cover up a data breach with embarrassing results. But the breach of the month once again goes to Microsoft, specifically their email server Exchange. It was attacked by Chinese espionage group Hafnium, who exploited no less than four different zero-day exploits to steal emails and plant web shells. Attackers exploit web shells by placing password-protected backdoors into a victim's IT environment, granting them easy, admin-level access to the secure network over any regular internet connection. The damage and fallout from this breach is hard to quantify. Krebson Security stated this Microsoft Exchange breach affected 30,000 enterprises in the U.S. alone, including small businesses and local governments. However, Hafnia may have seeded web shells in hundreds of thousands of organizations internationally as well. The breach caused enough damage to warrant comments from the White House and an emergency directive from the CIA, warning all federal civilian departments to update or disconnect their exchange servers. Worse, Checkpoint Research discovered the number of attempted cyber attacks increased tenfold as a direct result of the Microsoft Exchange hack, most targeting government or military organizations. As always, your business should implement strong email security to keep your own communications safe from prying eyes. If you'd like more info on cybersecurity, click the link below to download our comprehensive buyer's guide, available for free at solutionsreview.com. In the meantime, click or tap the icons on screen to watch a related video and subscribe to be notified of future uploads. My name is Jonathan Paula. Thanks for watching.